every day it's a different sunset. The clouds, the colour of the sky. I've seen double rainbows. I've seen triple rainbows. You can never get bored of the view. It's, just, it's pretty amazing. Duck and Waffle is a 24-hour restaurant and bar on top of the 40th floor of a skyscraper. When guests arrive on the 40th floor, the first thing we hear is a lot of wows. They take out their phones and start taking selfies and start taking pictures because it's such a photogenic restaurant. The concept is very open. You've got an open kitchen and truly an open kitchen that you can actually see right into it. And finally, of course, the view. All that before they sit down and actually have a look at the menu. And then starts, of course, the, the meal experience. The menu Duck and Waffle, being based in London, we take a lot of influences from the UK. But we do have a lot of inspiration from around the world. The duck and waffle dish itself is based off an American dish, chicken and waffles. So it's a play on that and it's just evolved throughout time with the maple syrup, the mustard seeds and the fried egg on top. We can sell four to five hundred portions a day of this alone. Being able to be playful and to try and cook different food, it really brings joy to the chefs that work here and hopefully it really brings happiness to the customers that are eating the food as well. So when Duck and Waffle opened uh, a few years ago, it was one of the first foodie destinations in this part of uh, Liverpool Street. When we first opened five years ago, a lot of people told us that it wouldn't really work. Being in the city, being quite financial, everything on the weekends was completely closed. And over the years, it's changed a lot. We have Shoreditch and Hoxton that's become quite trendy, which is just down the road. We've got Spitalfields Market just around the corner. Brick Lane is nearby. So from a foodie point of view, there are other places nearby as well. Quite a few touristy destinations near us. Tower Bridge is walking distance, St Paul's is also nearby. On the weekends, the whole area is busier than it's ever been. My favourite time of the day is sunset, because with the views that we have, every day is something different. Being 24 hours, we get different type of clientele. In the evening, you get the more serious diners, if you want to say, the ones who are coming out to celebrate a special occasion. And as you go into the late night, you get individuals who have been out to a show. At night, things become quite lively. One time at three in the morning, we had a conga line going. Yeah, you don't really see it at a restaurant. This restaurant is actually more of a destination than just a place where you want to come and have a, a nice dinner. When you have a guest coming across, oh, I travelled all these miles and you haven't disappointed, the duck and waffle dish is amazing, great team, and it just makes your day.